Hey guys, today I'll show how to create this kind of effect in Photoshop, how to create a hologram effect in Photoshop. So, let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. As you already saw in the intro, today I will show you how to create this really interesting hologram effect in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, we will start with this image and I will show you in this example basic principles how you can turn any object or a model into a hologram effect. And first thing that you need to do is to extract your object or a model out of the background and then you can turn it into a hologram effect. So for that, for this example I will use a quick selection tool and I will quickly select this girl like so and then just press ctrl or command j to make a copy of that layer without the background as you can see here if you're not familiar with the selection tools in photoshop you can watch my tutorial about them right here right now that i have a copy of this girl out of the background i will create three more copies by pressing ctrl command j three times one two three and that's it first one i will just hide to have it as a backup you will see later why i will need it and then I will go to the background layer and go to adjustment layer and create a new solid color, black color layer. And the beauty of this effect is that you don't need to have a perfect extraction of the object or the model that you uh, want to turn into hologram effect. You just need to have a rough selection and the hologram effect will cover all imperfections. And now we need to create those hologram lines. And there are a few different ways in Photoshop how you can create those lines. But now I will show you only one of them and I think this is the easiest and the fastest way how to do that. So let's go to the most uh, top layer and create new empty layer. Now let's fill this layer with a 50% gray color. To do that press shift and backspace and then choose from drop down menu 50% gray and press OK. That's it. Now make sure that you have default colors here black and white uh, on the color palette and to do that just press D on a keyboard like default. All right. And now go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and now you need to go to sketch here and choose halftone pattern so let's unzoom this a little bit and on halftone pattern you need to choose lines there are circles there are dots and there are lines we need lines and now we can choose the line size the line size depends of uh, document size and we can choose the contrast of those lines so for this document i think one or two maybe one it's small two will be OK and I will press OK. And now we need to turn those lines into a selection. So to do that, just go to a channel and you only need to see lines on the screen. So when you're seeing only lines on the screen, just go to channels and press and hold control command key, click on the RGB channel and go back to layers. Hide this layer where the lines are and go on the first layer and create mask. And that's it. Now we can hide all other layers and we have lines across this girl. So this is almost done, guys. It's so easy. Now we just need to make some changes to make this look even more interesting and better. So now I will go and make those two layers visible and copy this same exactly uh, mask to two other layers by holding Alt or Option key and just drag this mask to this layer and to layer down below. Now I will blur those two layers. So let's name this blur, blur number one, and this blur number two, and let's name this original, original, all right? And let's go to blur number one, go to filter, let's first hide blur number two, go to filter, blur, and motion blur. And we need for this effect to set the angle at zero and then we can play with the distance so first effect I want to be really really stretched like this and I will press OK then I will go and make a second blur visible second blur layer visible and go again to filter blur motion blur and now I want a less effect less blur effect so as you can see this is the edges of our blur and I think this is nice. You can choose whatever you want of those values to maybe you want more stretch, maybe you want less stretch, depends on your taste. But I want to have it something like this. All right. 
And now we need just to go to a first stop layer and maybe change the shape of those lines. Now the lines of the original layers are really a straight horizontal and we can make this effect even more interesting if we change the shape of those lines. So for that we can use displacement map or we can use one of the stored filters. And let me first show you an example with displacement map. Right, we need to create a displacement map for this document and that's why I left this layer number one intact. I will make it visible and move it all the way to the top and hide everything else. If you're not familiar what displacement map is and how to use it in Photoshop, please go and watch the beginning of my tutorial that you can find it on the link right here. Alright, first that we need to do is to convert this layer into black and white and for that I will use a keyboard shortcut shift Control u or shift command u on a Mac and now I will just blur this a little bit because I don't need all the details so visible so I will use blur Gaussian blur and just blur it a little bit maybe even more like this and press ok and now we just need to save this as a PSD file so go to file save as and name this whatever you want we can make name it displacement map and press ok and save it that's great now we can hide this move it all the way down and turn everything back on all right now let's go to original layer and go to that layers mask now let's go to filter and go to distort displace and we have some numbers here those numbers are different for every document size so for this maybe we can start with smaller numbers two and two and press ok and uh, here are those settings you want to have a displacement map to stretch the fit and these undefined areas repeat edge pixels and then press ok and choose find your displacement map and that's it you can see before and after not so big difference because those numbers were too low so I will undo this and go again to filter distort displace and I will put a bigger number maybe 4 and 4 press ok Lot the same displacement map and now it's much better you can see the curvature of those lines on the nose on the edge of the head forehead here the ears and so on and so forth so this is what displacement map does to your document before and after before the line was straight now they follow the curves of the, this girl's uh, face right and this is a little bit better effect than just to have straight lines and another option, another way how you can curve the, curves those lines is to use one of the distort filters, except displacement map. So I will just make a copy of this, hide it, and change back to change back to original state. This is it. And go again to this layer uh, mask, go to filter, distort, and maybe you can use some other filter here, maybe wave. And this is nice because you can choose and play with those waves with wavelength amplitude make those lines. basically those are lines that will appear here you are curving those lines and i don't want so big effect maybe something like this and then press ok and you have another effect this can be really cool effect for hologram too. So you can play with all those options and find what suits the best for your image and the current situation you are in. For this image, I think the displacement map is a better option. This is a displacement map and I will stick with that. Then I can go to those blur one and blur two layers and maybe lower the opacity a little bit of both of them. And then I can group all those layers by selecting all of them and press Control command G and put this group into a screen blending mode. There will not be effect because we have a black background, but now I will go inside the group and create new adjustment layer, use hue and saturation and click this colorize option. Maybe go to a bluish tint and now lower the opacity of that layer just to have more like those blue, really nice uh, colored uh, holograms all right and we are done guys this is it this is the effect now you can go and copy this effect into any image uh, that you want to have a hologram in it so I will go with this and maybe first I will go and merge everything together with shift Control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac and now I will use this layer copy it and go to another document and paste it right here just to show you how 
you can use any image. This is just some image that I use, for example. You don't need uh, to use this stupid example, but this is for just this tutorial. And now you need to put this layer, the hologram layer, to a screen blending mode, like this. And that's it, you have this really nice hologram effect. Of course, this is not the image for a hologram, but maybe you want to add a hologram on the side of this wall by pressing Control command t and then move those maybe like this to match the perspective. And that's it, maybe we want to copy this by holding Alt or Option key and make two copies. Let's do like that. And maybe you want one copy to be lower opacity just to have that 3D effect. And maybe you want to colorize this with a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip this layer to affect only the hologram copy layer. And maybe you want to colorize it even more to the blue. And this is it. This is really nice example, guys, how you can put, not this, how you can put uh, this to be as a 3D hologram effect on some wall. Another example is to create something like this. I used exactly same method like I show you in the first example to transform this guy myself as a Green Lantern into a hologram effect. And I will show you really quickly here, here what I did. This is the hologram group. So exactly the same group like I made here. This is a hologram group, all right? And let's go from the start. I create that hologram, put it right here on the image. All right, and then I create two beams, one a beam of the light here and uh, another here on the watch and uh, just to have a little bit better effect. And then I add two curves adjustment layer, one to make a little bit more lights on my face from a hologram and again another one to emphasize that even more. And then on the top of that I just uh, did some color correction and that's it. This is Another great example how you can use to make a hologram and to put on some practical situation. And then of course I have a text layer that I did for my uh, thumbnail that you saw before you uh, played this video. All right guys, and that's it. This is how easy it is to create this hologram effect. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of this episode. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Use any kind of images, any kind of object. Maybe you want to shoot yourself or your friends, family and turn them into some great hologram effect. If you create really interesting hologram image, you can put it on Instagram and tag me and I will make sure to check it out. And if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.